Hans Rudi Giger was a famous living artist in an age when famous artists were slim to none. I can think of only one German artist who came even close. Giger was hired to design the alien for Alien, and the rest was history. This strange little gnome of a man who preferred the shade to sunlight was otherwise living the life that I wanted. He was getting paid to paint monsters and living in picture postcard Switzerland. When I heard he died in 2014, I imagine he fell off a mountain while hiking near his Swiss chalet or something like that. I recently watched a documentary about Giger called Dark Star on YouTube and realized that no, he likely fell down a set of creaking stairs in his dark ramshackle house. I was surprised to see how infirm Giger was at the end of his life with highly restricted mobility. He died at 74, but he looked to be 90. He was still affected by the loss of his first love, and perhaps also by the loss of his mother. See my film about autism, love, and grief. A little known myth about famous artists is that they are all wealthy, when in fact they scrape along and bust boom cycles of their career. Giger signing books to make money reminds me of Salvador Dali at the end of his life, signing stacks of blank pages. The tone of the film Dark Star is sad. And it's one bright moment is when Giger at a book signing meets his adoring fans and their body tattoos of his art. Near the end of the documentary, Giger confesses that he has said all he wants to say as an artist, and that's that. I am reminded of a story told by the philosopher Ludwig Wittgenstein, where as a young man, he watched the German composer Johannes Brahms sit at the foot of a staircase, listening sullenly to his own music being played in the next room. Now, there was an artist I would have turned into jelly to be in his presence. Few know that Brahms retired from composing before he died and perhaps took little pleasure in the adoration thrown his way. You get this feeling with Giger. I will soon turn 65, and though I have a few more good years left as a creator, I can see how retiring is reasonable for an older artist. I was working on a cover to the song, The Good Life, before I saw Dark Star. And so this one is for you, Hans.